I think um, there's always going to be an hierarchy and you're always going to need other people to support you to get to where you're going in life. And I think that um, if you're good, if you have what it takes to, 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 to stand in any position of leadership, you would find both men and women that would rally around you. And I also got the support fully from my husband. So I don't think there is any other person to discourage me. It's only when your husband is not in support or your father as in your somebody that is around you that is not supporting you, then you find it difficult. Um, it would have been very difficult without the support of my family. Like I rightly mentioned now, uh, you have to go from beginning to start asking them. And um, if they don't give consent to it, you can't succeed in any way. There is no way because yeah, you have to, it's, a, it's, a, it's an issue of constituency. Well, um, I would say like um, a lot of uh, my relatives, the men, um, did give me their support you know, to contest, um, to come out and actually contest. But then as I said, my father never supported me. Um, that didn't deter me because um, I must say that my father made me the person I am today. And um, he made me, he taught me to become an individual and have a mind of my own and make decisions. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So indirectly he supported me. He made me the person I am and that's why I can face any canon in front of me. For me, my first influence, my first positive influence was my father. He had always educated me and worked from when I was five years. He has always told me, I will educate you to the level where you can think independently of a man, where you will know that Whatever a man can do, you can do more than that. And it helped me because I'm not somebody that can look at myself and say, because I'm a woman, I can't reach it. I try to reach all my goals. So when it was time for politics, my father will come all the way from Lagos to be part of my political speech in the village. And then he was always writing speeches for me and will go through it. He was always my number one fan. So yes, he's like a godfather because he also took care of the financial needs of my campaign up until later when people begin to key into it. And again, I am fortunate that I have a husband who is highly understanding. He's also into politics. He knows some of the intrigues in politics. If not, probably by now, I'll be a single mother. Because we leave the house. I do night meetings. At times I get home, one o'clock. Your husband is there, at home. Ordinarily, you're supposed to cook for your husband. You're not doing the cooking and you have a meeting in the next 30 minutes, you have to leave the house, you're supposed to cook and your husband will just tell you, oh, don't worry, I'll take care of myself. Or you're supposed to do some things for the kids or you're supposed to take the kids out. But because there's a meeting and you know, if you don't go to the meeting, something else can happen. Your husband is there to tell you, oh, don't worry, I'll take care of the home. Well, if I had had a husband that is not supportive, I'm sure it would be very difficult. Probably I won't be here today. That's the truth. Thank God for the NGOs that stood by my side. For example, what see, kind, and others. So they gave me a word of encouragement, and uh, they even tried a lot of things for us, for we candidates then, or for we female aspirants, by printing T-shirt for us to assist the female candidates. Um, especially when it comes to religion, culture, you know, and the mentality we have on ground, you know, saying, oh, she's a woman or, you know, or she's not married, you know, like in my case. They face a lot of challenges from their co-men, uh, advising them, you don't need to support this woman, she can't handle this. They bring all sorts of nonsense. They try to discourage them from sponsoring the women. So it's also a challenge on their part. It comes from probably their friends and pairs saying, oh, you've become a, uh, you've become a woman, you're now a softie, what are you thinking? They're going to dominate us and you're supporting this. Do you know what you're doing and everything? Mm -hmm.